On the other side of the world, in the rainforests of Costa Rica, another remarkable creature has found a very clever way to ensure its survival by using camouflage. It's the sloth. Sloths are one of the most abundant mammals here, but they are not easy to spot. Today, zoologist Lucy Cook is joining a team of researchers who thankfully know how to find them. Professors John Pawley and Zach Peary have been carrying out one of the biggest studies ever made of this little-known creature, looking at the extraordinary adaptations that allow sloths to thrive in this environment. John, there's... Oh, there! That is so cool. Literally lying in a tree having a nap, just like a sloth should be. He's not in a hurry. He walks a little way, he takes a rest, he walks a bit more. By taking their time to go about their business, they burn fewer calories than any other mammal of similar size. The amount of energy a sloth needs to live on a day is really, really low. It's about 140 kilocalories per day. Wow, that's like the same as a packet of crisps. That's like nothing. The leaves that sloths prefer to eat have very little nutritional value. So by conserving energy, they are able to survive on tiny amounts of food each day. But being slow does have its downside. It makes them hugely vulnerable to predators like jungle cats and aerial hunters like the harpy eagle. So these sloths have developed a clever use of camouflage. It's coming down to see us. The sloth is green because it's covered in algae and perfectly matches its surrounding environment. Hello, mister. It's a male. Oh, wow. Have you given this one a name? Uh, 992 is the number of his radio. Really? But we, we don't have a name for him. What about Cyril? Cyril works. Yeah. You want to hold him? Yeah. Wow. Not only is Cyril That's covered it. in algae, but on closer inspection, there are hundreds of tiny moths that he allows to live in his fur. These moths are only found in sloths. They're found nowhere else. Uh, they depend entirely on the sloth for their entire existence. For a long time, it was assumed that it was only the moths that benefited from this arrangement. But John and Zach's research is finding this is definitely a two-way street. When these moths die, they actually fertilize the fur within the sloth, and they create nitrogen that helps the algae that you see on their fur to grow. The moths themselves are making compost. That's right. That helps keep the sloth green. That's exactly right. The more moths that live on a sloth, the greener and more camouflaged it will become. This clever relationship means that sloths don't have to outrun predators. They simply disappear.